Tiger Heli for the Nintendo Entertainment System is a 1987 conversion of the 1985 arcade game by the long defunct developer Toa Plan. Toa Plan just so happens to be the same developer behind infamous shoot 'em up Zero Wing. You know, the one with that meme that people have raped and pillaged to the ends of the earth over the course of many years. Anyway, you control the eponymous Tiger Heli and your main goal is pretty much the same as any other shoot 'em up. If something moves and or shoots at you, you shoot them back. You can also destroy stationary objects such as houses and cars and other things that pose no threat whatsoever for bonus points. And you can also get power-ups such as extra wingmen and shots with increased range because your Tiger Heli standard shots are slow and limited in range. And that's Tiger Heli in a nutshell. You have four theoretically distinct levels, all of which feature the same body of water, grass, and type of landscape. And after beating the fourth level, it loops back to the second level, except somewhat harder. So this is one of those games where the aim is to get as high of a score as possible, and this in itself is not bad, most arcade shooters are like that. Tiger Heli also has the option of continuing when all your lives are exhausted. Just press A and B on the game over screen to continue from the last checkpoint. But seeing as there's no final ending to the game, and your score is reduced to zero upon doing this, I really don't see much of a point save for getting some practice in the later levels. If there's any one word that comes to mind in regards to Tiger Heli, it's bland. Gameplay in general is rather sluggish in nature as the whole thing seems to crawl at a snail's pace. And I'm not just talking about control over your helicopter, which is already slow, but just the whole game in general feels like it's going to take its sweet time going from point A to point B. Dare I say it? Xevious felt faster than this. And also much smoother on the scrolling. This is one of those games where it seems the NES is having a hard time with scrolling scenery. There's a bit of a choppiness in this regard that's slight, but quite noticeable. If it wasn't for the slow pace of the gameplay, Tiger Heli would have fit the mold of being another seemingly generic vertical scrolling shooter, except it's not set in space. I wouldn't mind that so much, I've had my fair share of generic shooters and I've had fun with them. But the slow speed and choppy scrolling is kind of the deal breaker for me here. And the funny thing is, there's no real reason for the game to be as slow as it is because there's really nothing overwhelming about Tiger Heli. It's a fairly simple style of game with fairly simple mechanics that's been done numerous times before this game's release and even after, and yet... I don't know. I just don't know. Tiger Heli's graphics are typical NES fare. Grass is a solid green color, the roads are simple fare, but at least there's some texture to the water, seashore, and mountain areas, which is more than what the NES version of Xevious got. Despite being called a Tiger Heli, your player helicopter is a drab gray color, as are a number of tanks and turrets that you'll come across. You'll find some in green, and there's a couple other objects in different colors like red and stuff, but that's about it. Also, adding to the scrolling issues, you have this garbage line on the very top of the screen, so yeah. One thing of note is that when you release a bomb and it explodes, certain sprites will disappear from the screen for a short while, including your Tiger Heli player thing. A bit of an annoyance more than anything. All in all, the game looks fine. It's neither the greatest looking game, nor is it the worst looking. It's somewhere in the middle and that's more than enough here. There's not much to say in terms of sound, aside from the usual array of sound effects comprising explosions and shots which are nothing worth mentioning because they're your typical array of 8-bit exploding sound effects. You have only this one tune playing throughout the game. Unless you pick up a wingman or tube to fight by your side, then you have a completely different tune playing. One way or another, neither tune is particularly good, and can get grating on the ears after a while. Overall, Tiger Heli is just another seemingly generic vertical scrolling shooter on the NES that runs at something of a sluggish pace. It's the kind of game you'll pick up, play for a short while, have a bit of fun with it, and then move on to something else. It's nothing really special in the long run, and certainly nothing I would call a must-have by any stretch of the imagination, but for a couple bucks you could do much worse. Tiger Heli's not great. It's not bad. It's strictly middle of the road. And that's just fine.